A few days after the dramatic incident involving Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin, another collision shocks the racing world. And caught in the crossfire is the young Haley Deegan, whose bad luck seems to last forever. What really has fans in an uproar is that the rookie driver responsible for the chaos, Nick Sanchez, has only offered a half-hearted apology. Will Deegan overcome this setback and boldly return? Should Sanchez suffer consequences for his unsafe behavior? Join us on NASCAR Zone as we get into in this explosive NASCAR update and burning fan reactions. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. When will Haley Deegan be able to run without getting caught? Nick Sanchez gave the Thor Sport driver a bump that hurt. Even though there are sometimes rough races in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, this one could have been avoided. Instead, Deegan and a fast truck that was in the top 10 early out of the race. Nick Sanchez is new to this series, but he has sometimes driven like a pro. It's too bad that he's participating in something like this. Sanchez just didn't lift and turn very well when he got to the turn. Haley Deegan had no way to get out of this mess. There have already been a few yellow flags in this race. On the track, these truck series drivers are very rough with each other. Each one is trying to win, to get ahead, or even to get a new job. But you must know when to push and when to stop. This is not how you should be pushing on lap 88 of 160. As Sanchez misjudged the bend, his bumper connected with Deegan's tailgate, inflicting extensive damage that rendered her truck completely incapacitated. The number 13 Ford seemed to unravel before everyone's eyes as Deegan valiantly steered it back to the garage. Following the race, Nick Sanchez faced tough questions from Fox's Bob Pockras regarding the incident. For us, it's, it's not where I want to run. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed with eight. I feel like the speed was there, just restarts, just got used up. Got to get better at it, I guess. Um, yeah, the speed's there, just got to, got to pick and choose my battles on restarts and just focus on not losing so much. And then obviously, you think it was a little bit upset at uh, what you see when, when that incident. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's unfortunate. I hate to tear up a, a, a truck, and especially her, but just, you know, racing hard, trying to get momentum, uh, push her back bumper um, off of two and the three, um, trying to get clear of the two on my inside, and just racing so close, uh, hit her hit her, um, no two ways around it, so uh, unfortunate, it sucks that it happens, and my apologies. Nick Sanchez, a promising talent in the truck series, now faces the challenge of learning from this incident and approaching future situations with a different mindset. Unfortunately, this marked Deegan's third failed attempt to complete a race in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series this year, and the accident has sparked a wave of demands from fans for severe consequences to befall Nick Sanchez for his role in the incident. During the 89th lap of the Toyota 200, Rev Racing's Nick Sanchez forcefully nudged Deegan's Ford from behind, causing her to veer off the track and collide with the unyielding wall, prompting the race to be temporarily halted. Thankfully, Deegan emerged unscathed, but the same couldn't be said for her now total truck, forcing her to withdraw from the competition. Despite Sanchez, offering his apologies post-race, fans remained skeptical. Venting their frustration on social media, they called for NASCAR to take immediate action against Sanchez, as they believed his actions put another racer's safety at risk, raising doubts about the sincerity of his apology. Following the wreck involving Haley Deegan and Nick Sanchez, Haley's team, Thorsport, suffered a setback as they dropped to the 17th position in the point standings. Meanwhile, Sanchez experienced a rise in his position, reaching 12th place with an 8th place finish in the race. With another unfortunate wreck adding to her record, the future of Deegan in upcoming races remains uncertain. It remains to be seen if she can overcome this setback and make a comeback in the next race. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below, and be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. It's on to the next one for Deegan. The next Truck Series event will be on June 23 at Nashville Super Speedway, so there will be time to think about what happened at WWT Raceway and time to move on as well. There are a lot of NASCAR fans who want Deegan to do well. She comes from a family of racers, is a great driver, 
and has a lot of skill behind the wheel. When things like this keep her from running in races where she could do well, it's hard to take. The good news is that there are people who support her completely. Many of her fans think that if she moves to Xfinity, her skills will really shine. Last year, Deaton did well in her one Xfinity start in Las Vegas. She came in 13th place in that race. The car seems to fit her better than the trucks, and she wouldn't be the first driver to do well thereafter failing in the truck series. Fans who don't like Deegan as much as others could see that this wreck was different. Even though Sanchez is a new driver, he doesn't need to drive like that. The 2033 season has proven to be a challenging journey for Haley Deegan, the talented driver in the Craftsman Truck Series. The Toyota 200 debacle marked the third occasion this season where Deegan was unable to complete a race, adding to her disappointment and thwarting her high expectations for the new season with Thor Sport. Despite receiving an official apology from Sanchez, the sting of losing her position lingers, as Deegan finds solace in a video she playfully shares on Instagram, poking fun at herself. The intensity of the crash that Haley Deegan miraculously emerged from unharmed was truly shocking, emphasizing the potential danger that could have unfolded. However, her quick reflexes and firm application of the brakes prevented any serious harm. After being checked out at the care center, Deegan told the truth about what happened. That was our biggest thing. We had a lot of speed. We just couldn't really go anywhere. It was so hard to pass. We finally got track position on a little bit older tires, but it was still pretty even. Like It wasn't like we were getting ran over or anything. And the two had to run out back, hit me once, and then locked onto me. And I don't even think he slowed down for turn three. Just shit me off. Killed our truck, ended our race. Plain and simple, just shipped us. Absolutely shipped us off. There was no reasoning for it. Like, it, I don't know. But that's truck series, typical truck series racing. So, I don't know. It's, and literally, this just a product of all the people in the series. And if you don't race like an asshole, you're the one that gets the bad end of the stick. So, it's it goes, it goes both ways. It's either swing or be swung at. So, it is what it is. Haley Deegan still struggles with the anger of what could have happened if she hadn't been in an accident. She voiced her dissatisfaction by posting on social media and releasing a video clip from her race day vlog. The tape showed the exact moment when she ran into the outside wall of the competition. To add a dash of self-mockery to her post and further emphasize the absurdity of the circumstance, Deegan decided to use Miley Cyrus's smash single Wrecking Ball as the background music for her video. Anyone who has been following the truck series this year is aware that Haley Deegan has been involved in a number of accidents this year, both as a victim of collisions caused by other drivers and as a participant in mishaps in which she accidentally caused collisions with other drivers. This became most apparent at North Wilkesboro, where Deegan's contentious decision resulted in Dean Thompson of Trikon Garage bearing the brunt of the damage. During the race, Deegan made an unexpected touch with Dean Thompson who was on the outside. This caused Thompson to lose control of the track and crash hard in the outside wall. When Thompson decided to withdraw from the competition, his disappointment was clear for everybody to see. When asked about the event, he gave the following response. What the truck series is, um, it's all take and no give. Um, dirtiest drivers I've ever raced with. Um, yeah, I got a thing, top five group, truck on garage, shirt partners. As a result of the disputed collisions, both drivers have likely felt a sense of disappointment as they have been forced to lose crucial points as a result of these interactions. Despite this, Haley Deegan continues to be the target of criticism due to the fact that she is a female driver. Despite this, she has demonstrated on several occasions that she had the required talent as well as the potential to build a name for herself on the NASCAR racetrack. So what happens next for Deegan? Well, she just needs to keep running and going forward. She was lucky that she was okay after this big accident. It was a hard blow, and no one really saw it coming. If Deegan has a few weeks off after this, she might feel better about going to Nashville. So let's see how her week in Nashville goes, wreck-free or wreck-filled. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.